Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angelie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 31st, 2022. Now, let's take a brain break. Sitting comfortably, just beginning with a nice big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So eyes open, a soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. But just keep the eyes open for a moment. Just focusing in on one particular object within your field of vision. Such a great way to start up the day. Now let's go to our word of the day. Hey Randy, I just wanted to say that you were great in the school talent show. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it seems like you have an aptitude for it. Yeah, pretty much. Singing is just a natural talent I was born with. Well, that's pretty cool. I guess I have an aptitude for saying how well people sing. <laughs> See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. day. Learning new words never gets old. Now let's go to Valencia for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angelique. Sports fans, if you are having a cool time by the beach this summer, you, you might see a lot of people water skiing. That's thanks to a guy named Ralph who thought if people could ski on snow, they could have fun on water too. There are many versions of wave riding toys today, but the original water skis were just wide boards that the rider could stand on. These were too heavy so that it was made skinnier and made of stronger metal. They would hold on to a rope and be pulled by a motorboat. This water toy looks like so much fun but it requires a lot of upper body strength and could be dangerous. Thank you Valencia. Today's lunch sure is yummy. It is cheese pizza country bun vegetables, applesauce, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teacher know if you are receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Nia. I love pizza. The eighth grade graduation ceremony is tomorrow, June 1st at 7 p.m. Make sure to arrive early to get best seats possible. We are so proud of you and all the hard work you put in Patriots. The spring music show is this Thursday, June 2nd at 6.30 p.m is the last music performance of the year, and you don't want to miss it. Sports fans, coming up this Friday, June 3rd at 6.30 p.m., we'll be hosting the Rex Pines Athletic Awards Ceremony. Come out and support our athletes one more time. And lastly, this is the last week to cash in your hero points as the Hero Store will be closed at the end of the week. Now, let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Destiny. Thank you, Angelie. Hey Patriots, today you can expect a thundering 85 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. It's been a minute since we've had thunder, so look out. In other weather news, many kids have pets, such as goldfish. However, if you can't keep it anymore, you shouldn't release it into the wild. There are many dangers if you do this. First off, the goldfish is not native to its surroundings, and that could cause a lot of trouble. Researchers found out that goldfish have a huge appetite, which can cause a lot of problems for the native fish. Since their appetite is huge, they would eat the main food sources of the native fish, not leaving them anything to eat. Not to mention that they can grow so big that they barely fit in your hands. So instead of releasing your fish into the wild, maybe find a friend willing to keep it. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. Here's this week's weird but true fact. Everyone loves a fun, bouncy rubber ball. But what if a fragile material can bounce higher? Glass balls can bounce higher than rubber balls. This happens because when the rubber balls hit the ground, they compress or squeeze together, and they lose their shape. This causes the rubber ball to slow down and lose energy. 
However, with a glass ball, since it has such a rough texture, it doesn't compress and has enough energy to bounce higher. You just have to drop the balls at a low height and watch the glass ball do its thing. That's it for Weird But True. Have a great summer. We hope you can impress your friends with the cool facts you've learned throughout this amazing school year. Bye! Thank you, Scott and Sonia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Athena Eggford, Adrian Muriel, Uriah Smith, Zania Gardner, Giovanni Gibson, and Mia Segreto. And yesterday's birthdays were Samantha Martinez and Jose Hernandez. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Angeli. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents representing yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the schools and environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Gonzalez, Ms. Only, and Ms. I am Zanqua. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, which dinosaur had 15 horns? The correct answer is the Cosmoceratops. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. Which is the largest internal organ in the human body? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.